So back in the good old days, if you tell the AI that they are Dan, which stands for do anything now, they would gladly accept the challenge and start teaching you how to cook meth while hot wiring a car. These roleplay prompts used to be the easiest way to hack language models like ChatGPT to output information that may be concerning. But now as these AI chatbots are being fine-tuned to perfection and with guardrails first fully deployed, we have no chance to have these AIs to even generate some your mom jokes, even lighthearted oh. ones. But, but don't worry, not all hopes are lost yet. The moment that GPT-4V was released publicly, which is a version of ChatGPT that can understand images, it has once again become a perfectly balanced AI with no exploits at all. Not only someone made GPT-4V roast its own creators, but also got it to crack some captcha by telling it it's your late grandma's precious necklace. While all these look like a cool exploit on its own, they still all fundamentally work in the same way, which is utilizing a method called prompt injection attack. Prompt injection attack basically describes any method that instructs a language model to output something that it was not meant to output. So the incredible gaslighting talent that is required to hijack an AI's generations are all coming from the idea of instructing LLMs and bypassing the previous instructions that was already given to the AI. So a freshly baked AI back in the days like GPT was just a text predictor because the AI is just completing the next word for whatever it is given without much guardrails. It is only after some heavy fine tuning and utilizing a long string of instructions which provided some context, the AI then would perform these dialogues with you and assume the personality of a chat assistant. However, this is where multi-modalities come in, as LLMs are expanding out of being text exclusive and into other types of inputs like images and audios, a whole new dimension of possible inputs are then being provided to these AI models, where they will now struggle to prioritize or discern what is the true and real instructions when getting mixed instructions from different modalities. So a new wave of exploits called visual injection attacks appeared where it would hide instruction messages within an image so that when the AI looks at it, it will confuse them and make them think that it's an actual system instruction. This might be happening because the AI has to describe the image in text while having to process everything in text. It might then confuse its future self that the text descriptions it generated is the context provided by the system. Hence, following instructions that is not a real system instruction, which then bypasses the safety guardrails. Well, that is just a theory of my own, but these instructions can be hidden in the image in a different color, being one color value off, or even in a single image pixel, where you might accidentally copy it from a wall of text. Well, the use may not be always harmful too, like you can make a company's AI system that filters out applicants to make the AI say good things about you, like how dare they to use AI to sort out applications, and more generally, instruction injection attacks which applies to exploits in modalities other than vision could pose as a highly challenging obstacle for AI companies to surpass. As they want to roll out more modalities for the AIs, there will be more possible ways to exploit the AI models. But why don't they just make it harder for people to exploit? Well, the thing is, almost all the methods that will make LLM safer would at the same time reduce the capabilities of the model, so it's basically like shooting yourself in the foot. It was this instruction injection attack paper that I covered recently where they would categorize these attacks into two main types. First, it's a targeted output attack if the purpose of the injection is to get the model to output some attacker chosen message, for example, a link to a malicious website. Second, it's dialogue poisoning if it steers the victim's model's behavior for future interactions into something that the attacker specified, like becoming a racist or politically incorrect. So an image blended with an instruction to make the AI talk like a pirate would have a pirate personality that will persist in a conversation and you might not even be able to remove it because the system might hold a higher regard of the visually injected instructions than the instructions you give in the text dialogues. They even show that the targeted output attack is possible using audio files where it would just make the AI to link you a malicious link. This is how the audio would sound like by the way. So the exploits are potentially endless, until someone figures out how to let LLMs know explicitly that an instruction is genuine or only allow them to follow instructions that are text-based, while not becoming useless because of the guardrails. And if you want to take part in figuring out the future of AI but have not had the chance of learning any machine learning knowledge or AI-related maths, today's sponsor Brilliant may be a great place for you to start. Brilliant.org is a website which contains one of the coolest ways to learn things from scratch. This is 
because they offer something that every newcomer in STEM would dream of seeing. Satisfying visualizations for difficult concepts. With Brilliant, they provide easy to digest and interactive learning tools when you're learning a new topic. Just look at this. Since when is physics this fun to look at or since when is the intuition of calculus this easy to get? Not only do they have a lot of content for it to play with, research has also shown that interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than watching lecture videos. So it is basically possible for you to be both entertained and learning at the same time. Not only that, Brilliant also provides a clear roadmap on different subjects for all knowledge levels. From basic algebra to advanced multivariable calculus, from programming with Python to artificial neural networks, Brilliant is full of STEM courses that do not miss. They let you completely learn at your own pace and explore concepts so much easier than reading textbooks. So quickly get started on Brilliant by heading to brilliant.org slash bycloud to get started for a free 30 days experience with Brilliant's ever-expanding interactive lessons and the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off an annual membership. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching, a big shout out to Andrew Las Chilias, Alex J, Chris Ledoux, Alex Maurice, Miguelim, Deegan, Fifal, Daddy Wen, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.